Dehenna, you are, of course, a GB News regular. Viewers will know you very well. They'll be interested to know what you think. Well, it's going to be quite the day, I think, isn't it? It's been quite the 24 hours. Um, you know, realistically, looking at the sheer number of ministers who've now resigned, as you've said, I think we're up to sort of 16 resignations in total, of which six are relatively senior ministers, two cabinet ministers, to lose one's chancellor. A sensible prime minister would see that the writing is on the wall and would go of his own accord. Just in the last few minutes, we've had Victoria Atkins mm -hmm. resign. She's not a household name, but she is a minister of state yes. in the Home Office. I think prisons and probation, 2015 intake, very much as rising star of the Conservative Party, but also on the sort of one nation side of the Conservative Party, the more centrist part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think looking at the, the people who've resigned, it's been a bit of a mix. There have been a few of those on the One Nation side, as you've said, Victoria Atkins, Alex Chalk, etc. But looking at the tone in the actual resignation letters, it's clear that the people who've resigned are, are displaying huge amounts of integrity there. They're saying kind of enough is enough. I can't go on uh, with the kind of lies coming out of number 10, uh, particularly poor Will Quince, who was sent out to defend the indefensible on Monday, mm. given cast iron assurances that the prime minister didn't know about the Pinter allegations, to then be told just a few hours later, actually, what we told you wasn't true. I don't blame him at all for resigning.